Hey guys, I was looking into the stats of my Canon PowerShot SX170IS earlier on and I found out that inside this little camera there's a CCD sensor. Um, now, most of my cameras, um, like for example the OMD EM1 and the AF101E that I'm filming myself on, have got CMOS sensors. And naturally, because this is a very cheap camera and these are very expensive, I assumed that the CCD was a much inferior sensor which is not, strictly speaking, true. There are many advantages of using a CCD sensor over a CMOS sensor, such as, for example, um, you're getting a better quality of image into the sensor. You, because of the way the CMOS sensor is um, arranged and crafted, you're also getting a little bit less light into it, so you're going to be getting more light into these pictures. And um, when you boost up the ISO, um, you're going to be getting uh, more light into a CCD sensor for a lot less um, image and noise. So that that's really, really good. So CCD sensors are pretty fantastic like that. Also, many DSLR users will uh, have issues with this thing called rolling shutter, which um, basically has a bit of um, image distortion. And that's because of the way the CMOS sensor actually captures the image. A CCD captures the image like, bam, image captured, bam, image captured. Whereas a CMOS sensor actually scans the image in, a progressive scan going from top to bottom, um, and um, the interlaced scan going top to bottom, then top to bottom again, um, but on different number levels. I'll put a link to how those scans work later. Um, so the CCD sensor seems to have all of the advantages, but in many ways it's got disadvantages because it can't just be produced anywhere. It has to be produced on a certain type of production line. And a CMOS sensor can be produced anywhere and they can produce be produced quite cheaply. Um, so you can get a very, very um, big, good quality CMOS sensor for very, very cheap. <coughs> um, whereas a CCD sensor costs a heck of a lot more money. Also, the fact is the CCD sensors burn out a heck of a lot of power. Um, up to 100 times as much as a CMOS sensor. So the battery life on CCD sensor cameras is a lot lower than it is on, um, say, the CMOS sensor camera. Um, so basically, um, when it comes down to sensors, for certain cameras using CCD sensors, like for example the Leica M9, this is not an M9 by the way, uh, they cost around £4,000 still and um, they use a CCD sensor and capture an absolutely beautiful crisp image. But for that price you can get a very good CMOS sensor camera, so you shouldn't immediately run out and buy one. Also in terms of the way that data exchange works from the um, the CCD camera, you can get a lot more transfer out of the CC. You can get a lot, sorry, a lot more transfer out of the CMOS sensor than you can out of the CCD, um, depending on how the manufacturers built the cam, the camera in terms of data output channels. But I, I'm starting to witter here anyway and go into territory which I don't really understand. In general, both of the sensors are very good and both of them have their merits and uses. I am sticking with CMOS sensors because I kind of love them and uh, even though they're not giving me just as brilliant and crisp colours I've got to worry a little bit more about sensor noise and all of these other issues. The CMOS sensors are still absolutely fabulous in your cameras and you shouldn't necessarily just think oh my god I need to go out and buy a CCD. Um, in terms of the way that cameras are working they're making many 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 CMOS cameras and not many CCD cameras now. Um, because in terms of the way that um, they can produce cameras, uh, the way that the CMOS uh, sensors are going is their evolution is skyrocketing, whereas CCD is sort of staying at the same sort of level. So if you buy a very, very expensive camera with a good quality CMOS sensor, you're still getting in a ridiculous amount of good quality, and you're not necessarily going to get a better quality image by going with the CCD camera. The best thing to do when looking at camera statistics is actually to look at the amount of dynamic range that they've got, you know, the color, the, the amount of detail which they get in an image and the overall image quality, um, rather than necessarily the sensors which are involved. But in terms of CCD and um, CMOS sensors, I've been very interested in finding all this stuff out. If you want to find out more, there's tons of information online. I had to stop myself there because I went on a massive rambling spree. I do that occasionally and it's really, really bad. I hope the video has been helpful to you. All of the information was found online and it's been recycled by me. Um, I've looked into it in many different ways and the information, as far as I'm aware, is correct. 
and I hope it's been helpful and um, if you like the video please subscribe if you didn't like it please dislike the thing leave very angry comments like you don't know what you're talking about man you know stuff like that I, I like to have conversations with people it's good I'm, I'm so lonely here anyway take care see you later and uh, have a groovy day